WTB's W5. Here is Lloyd Robertson. Welcome to W5. This week, a stunning medical discovery. A revolutionary treatment for a most debilitating disease. It is multiple sclerosis, and Canadians are especially hard hit. Many end up wheelchair-bound. MS sufferers often have trouble to see, stand, even swallow. Now W5 has an exclusive first look at a radical new approach that suggests the disease is not just an autoimmune disorder, as has long been thought. A relatively simple procedure called the liberation treatment could free MS patients from a lifetime of suffering. A scientific breakthrough, but one inspired by love. Here is Avis Favreau. Amid the medieval churches and castles in the ancient city of Ferrara in northern Italy is a doctor, Paolo Zamboni, who's developed an amazing theory that could turn the diagnosis and treatment of multiple sclerosis upside down. I am fully convinced that it is very, very important for people. Dr. Zamboni was trained as a surgeon but a rare neurological disease left him unable to operate. But it was when his wife, Elena, began developing the symptoms of MS over a decade ago that he began a new and very personal medical mission. She was having serious attacks where she lost her sight and couldn't walk. So did you see her spiraling yes, down? Yes, yes. My hope was to find something that uh, might be operated for her. And this is what he was afraid would happen to her. These are Italian MS patients at a nearby rehab clinic. The disease has damaged their ability to move normally. It causes them chronic fatigue and vision loss. They say it's destroyed their independence. I am one leg that I am not able to use, the foot too. This hand sometimes is terrible to write. I can't use knife to cut meat. I can't wash alone. It's very depressing, you know. You can't walk? Well, no, I can't walk. I can just use the wheelchair. Doctors have long considered MS an autoimmune disorder, where immune cells attack the nerves and brain. One of the hallmarks of the disease are these white spots that appear on brain scans, signs of active disease. But no one has ever conclusively proven exactly what starts it all. For over a century, scientists have been finding unusually high levels of iron in the brains of patients with MS. Most assumed it was simply a byproduct of the immune disorder. But for Dr. Zamboni, it was a clue to something much more important. For me, it was really unbelievable. It's to understand that iron deposits is in multiple sclerosis in exactly around the veins. So probably is a product of a dysfunction of drainage of the vein. This is a very important new because iron is very dangerous. Dangerous because iron in the brain can cause cell death, inflammation, and immune problems. So using ultrasound, he began to scan the head and necks of MS patients, and that's when he made a key discovery. In some uh, patients, I found the evidence of narrowing, narrowing of the vein. In the neck? Yes. So the blood was not draining, and this is in an MS patient? Yes, just in MS patients. In patient after patient, he found the same thing, narrowed veins. So in normal people or people with other diseases? With other disease, neurological or not. No narrowing? No narrowing. So every single one yes. of the MS patients had some sort of narrowing in the drainage? Yes. It was a brand new condition, something he called CCSVI, chronic cerebral spinal venous insufficiency. He found blockages either in the two jugular veins or in a large central vein that sits in the chest, problems that he says likely take root before birth. And when they're narrowed or blocked, blood backs up into the brain, and that, he says, could be pushing blood which contains iron into the brain tissue of these patients. The bottom line, 
Dr. Zamboni had uncovered a structural defect common in MS patients that could be a possible trigger for multiple sclerosis. Did you say, this is it? Did you jump up and down? Did you say, yes. this is it? This, this is, something this is a very it? important factor, I thought, and also that this factor can be treated. Were you excited? Absolutely excited. The first things that I did was uh, to present my imaging to neurologist. And uh, at the beginning they were really interested, but when I anticipated the possibility to treat this associated condition, oh, they were not so excited like me. <laughs> Dr. Zamboni says many neurologists he approached declined to join his research. That could be because it's a complete reversal of conventional science that says MS is a brain disorder and an autoimmune disease. Dr. Zamboni's work suggests MS may really be at its root a plumbing problem in the veins with the possibility of a diagnostic test, perhaps even a treatment to unblock these malformed veins. But there was one neurologist who was captivated by the theory. Dr. Fabrizio Salvi likes ideas that are out of the box. And so he began sending his MS patients to Dr. Zamboni for testing. The images of narrowed or blocked veins, called strictures, were irrefutable. Everyone can see what we found. Everyone, everyone can see the strictures. And one patient he sent was Augusto Zeppi. Augusto had been suffering regular MS attacks for nine long years, which left him with incredible fatigue and difficulty walking. E tutto quello che stavo sognando per la mia vita adulta uh, non sarebbe mai più potuto yeah, you, essere. You thought your life was over. Finito. Finito. Game over. Game over. When he was scanned, both of his jugular veins were 60 and 80 percent blocked. And so he became one of the first to undergo an experimental procedure to unblock those veins. It's a treatment that he says has restored him to health. Mi sono dimenticato di essere stato malato. Really? You don't remember what it's like to have MS? Sto bene. Sto bene come stavo 15 anni fa, prima di ammalarmi. C'è stato un momento in cui io pensavo di non poter giocare a tennis con mio figlio. E poterlo fare. You can play tennis with your son now? Cioè. Um, he gave you back your life. Ti ha dato la vita. Mi ha ridato una seconda vita, sicuramente.